Welcome to Journey Tutorials. We are back with the concepts what we have to learn in the pathology. Guys, I think you are feeling very bored because I am not going into the topic. But no need to worry, from tomorrow I am going to do the topics in the pharmacology and pathology. In pathology, we are going to discuss about the path physiology topics and path morphology topics. So, before explaining this, let me tell you clearly the topics that we need to concentrate more in the subject of pathology okay because as if you know according to the croak one syllabus you have 31 questions from the pathology so this, this 31 questions will be covered if you perfectly study these topics and these topics and these topics from tomorrow we are going to do that from tomorrow we are going to i'm going to explain you these topics so no need to worry we are going to discuss only the particular path of the croak one explanation it doesn't mean that I'm studying or I'm explaining you, okay? So, the important topics that according to the priority 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 So, we go with the priority It doesn't mean that you have to be mingled It doesn't mean that you have been confused It doesn't mean that you have been not even having proper information Pathology, Harrison, Ari Padana, Yar, Book Padana, Ho Padana Nothing is like that You can just go with your respective book that which your university is giving okay for example i am studying in zaporozhia state medical university so we have a book called digest of path morphology so study digest of path morphology i'm not asking you to study the indian books now because you don't have time in digest of path morphology it is not so depth but the topic is according to the normal notes manner so you can easily make the notes and you can easily complete so according to that from that book I have chosen some topics these topics are very important for the pathology of croak one examination so guys see pathology has been divided into path anatomy and path physiology so everything everything see before you are studying to before you are going to start about the systemic pathology before you are going to start about the Systemic pathology, you need to be thorough about general pathological terms like infarction, hyperplasia, and so terms like that, like necrosis. Okay, these are all terms that you have to be like gangrene. These are the terms that you have to be very thorough, like uh, like how you are, like this many, these terms will be in the questions, in the Kurokwan questions, so that you will be seeing these words. So I mean to tell you that first I think you need to be like choosing around 50 to 60 definitions of some terms in the general in the in the general pathological terms in the general pathology the terms if you if you know the definitions of the that term you can easily complete the question of path anatomy. So path anatomy we have path physiology we have we have to study the morphology here we have to study the physiological activities. So first we'll go according to the percentage of the topic. So first we'll go with the which topic? First go we will the heart anatomy. So about heart structures, internal structures, external structures. You study each and everything. After that go to the physiology of the heart. What's happening? What's conducting? Like what uh, ions are, what electrolytes are taking? What physiological actions are happening? Okay, it's in the pathological situation. How the pathology is taking? Example, myocarditis. If there is an inflammation to pericarditis, if there is an inflammation to endocarditis, finish. Kidney anatomy, the same. External structures, internal structures. What's happening in the physiological situation? What is the autoimmune infection? How this antibody, anti, antibody and antigen complexes are forming? So what autoimmune infection is giving to the kidneys? So what are the types of inflammations we have in the kidneys? That comes under the kidney anatomy. The same, respiratory pathology. See, I think in the path anatomy, at path physio, you will be finding the questions related to the respiration. Like what COPD, chronic obstruction of pulmonary diseases, like acute, chronic, bronchitis, rastama, emphysema, pneumonia and so on. Let's go to the blood anatomy guys. Very important topic. Very important topic. Because blood pathology will describe about first you don't need to, you need to know the biological reference values. If you are thorough with the biological reference values, you can easily sort it out the Path anatomy questions and path physiological questions. So here in path physiology of the blood, you need the biological reference values. But in the in the blood uh, blood anatomy, just we need to test morphology, like what's happening in the blood. That's we have to study. But the thing is, in blood, you need to concentrate more on the physiology. 
So if you concentrate more on the physiology of the blood, then it will be very easy for you. And one more thing, let's go with the liver anatomy. Liver cirrhosis, alkalosis, some, some, some different types of diseases we have. So it's better, we need to study. First to study the liver anatomy perfectly. Perfectly. Liver anatomy perfectly. When you understand the liver, liver anatomy perfectly of in path anatomy, then only you are going to understand this the physiology of the liver. Otherwise, it is like an English picture. After that, guys, nomical lecture of the neoplasia. Neoplasia, OMAS. I think most have been watched in the Dr. Najib lectures. In the Dr. Najib lectures, you watch the nomic lecture of neoplasia. He has been explained in a so such a manner good that you can you can just play with that topic. So nomic lecture, nomic lecture of the neoplasia. Najib, I think he explained around three hours. That three hours is not a big thing for you. Just sit, sit three hours, that two in a day. One hour in the morning or one hour in the evening or maybe one hour in the night. So you try to complete this nomic lecture so that this nomic lecture is somewhat connected to this topic, this topic, this topic, this topic, this topic. Every topic has the correlation. In my previous video, I have told you every topic has a correlation. Okay. So let's go with the endocrinology. Endocrinology. We have central endocrine and central uh, endocrinic organs and the peripheral endocrinic organs. What were the central endocrine organs? Like where the pituitary gland. Okay. Pituitary gland is all. What are the peripheral glands? Like we have the adrenal gland. We have what pancreatis, which is also called a dual sim. Okay. Pancreas is also called dual sim because it is exo and endo. It functions both. Okay. And we have what type of hormones? Like hormones have been carried in the blood. So everything you have to study about the endocrinology. Ex uh, endocrinology, like the same, like just learning the hormones. So only we'll be discussing about the hormones. Like we have the tropic hormones in the pituitary gland, antiutery, adenohypophysis, posteriori, posteriori, like neurohypophysis. What hormones are secreted anteriorly? So how this hormone synthesis is taking? How this hormone synthesis has been collected in the hypothalamus, synthesized? And how these hormones are going into the blood, how they are being supplied to the specific receptors in the body. Everything will be discussed here. But in the endocrinology, we will be discussing the syndromes of if there is a tumor in the adrenal gland, if there is a tumor in the pituitary gland, what you are going to call like Cushing's disease and Cushing's syndrome. These are the all time asked questions. Okay. So guys, this is the topics that you have to be thorough. Thorough means 100% you have to be sure. That is damn sure the questions are going to come from these topics. It doesn't mean that I'm just telling you the lies. Damn sure. I have been doing, I have been done. I have been sharing my experience. I have been telling you everything on behalf of my experience like what I felt. So guys, thank you so much. Keep on just watching my videos. I'll be giving you more information like this. But tomorrow, the same information will be not given. From tomorrow, we are going to start our base discussions of the Anatomy base and histology base where we have stopped from there. We are going to company uh, means continue. Thank you so much. Love you <coughs> mm.